Hi, this is number 14. I know it's been a, there's been a gap between number 13 and number 14, as there sometimes is. No, there isn't, but that's besides the point. Um, sorry about that. I uh, got really busy, and <laughs> one day came around. And I went, I'm going to go downstairs and make a video. That didn't happen. So then a few days later, I went, ah, oh, I'll go downstairs and make it happen. And it didn't happen again. And then life gets in the way of this. And, uh, sorry. Um, I'm going to try and do them on a semi-regular basis. And I'm going to try and make them shorter. Because apparently, <laughs> you, you guys out there, have a limited attention span and the average viewing time is about 5 minutes and 37 seconds okay what did you do fall asleep um, was there a shiny object or something you know okay I get it but I mean you're missing out on so much detail okay if you only watch the first 5 minutes there's just as much detail on the back end of the video as there is on the front end of the video and in the middle and on the sides okay you go back and watch half a part of it in the middle there's some mentions of some names out there that deserve to be recognized because I said so I always love that you know a kid would come up to me well why I said because well why because well because because so there you go. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm dealing with a few medical issues, a few medical issues. Never ask anybody over the age of 60, how are you? Because what you're going to get is either fine or you're going to get a list. Oops. Okay. Do you want it alphabetically or do you want it chronologically? Do you want it like by parts of the body from top to bottom, left to right? What would you like? So I have, fortunately, inherited by genetic issues a whole bunch of stuff that I had even when I was teaching, but I didn't want to make it common knowledge. And uh, um, one of the reasons I retired was because of faulty faulty kidneys caused by diabetes which I picked up uh, somewhere in a market and somewhere um, actually I didn't I inherited legitimately genetically um, so one thing led to another and that led to double bypass which some of you know so I go to dialysis five mornings a week um, for two and a half hours each time. I can't sit for four hours three times a week. So um, you might have noticed that I would be getting up, walking around. I never sat down for any length of time. That's because I can't. And I, the surprise, when I get up after doing a half an hour video here, it's uh, torture because I also don't have a straight spine. However, that's all of my fun stuff and there's more but you don't want to know that stuff anyway um so there are days when i feel up to doing a video and there are days which when i don't and um today's a day a good day so you're going to get a video whether you like it or not okay i was i'm going back to this one this is the the last I, one of the one of the last yearbooks I think we had, which is really really too bad. I mean, even to put something out on a you know mimeograph thing and hand it out would have been just fine because it's the memories. It's not the quality of the book. Although this book is phenomenal quality, if you have one, it really is far more than whatever you paid for it. It's an amazing book. Anyway, what I've got now, what I'm looking at, is uh, the staff pages. And I'm looking at only 
two pages of staff. When I started at Westwood in 1983, we had 147 staff. We were loaded. And we'd have a staff meeting in the library. You know, you couldn't, you were sitting cheek to cheek and cheek by jowl. You couldn't move. Um, and we didn't have cell phones back then. So uh, you'd have people doing their marks on their laps because they were trying to get them in and stuff. That's another thing I'm going to talk about, marks, but not right now. Um, anyway, I'm looking through this yearbook, and I don't honestly think students in their adolescent angst really fully understood the quality of the teachers that lived in that school and taught and were in front of you day to day. I don't know, people would complain about this guy or that guy or there was one English teacher people would complain about, blah, blah, blah. Not really knowing that this gentleman had a PhD in Russian literature and that he was a sailor and that he was an admiral. Okay, uh, if you want to know all these people, I'll be happy to message me and I'll, I'll tell you who they are. But I didn't want to make it big broadcast. Looking through the book, we had hockey players. We've always had really good hockey players. Um, that was toward of the end of the staff student hockey year when the demographics changed. And the emphasis for the students wasn't so much on hockey as it was on, let's say, cricket or soccer. And by then, I had played my last game. I think I played goal for from 1983 to about 2003, 2004, when I blew my knee out. So we're talking 20 years uh, of playing goal. But there uh, there was one gentleman who was in um, uh, counseling. Uh, there were several people who were phenomenal hockey players and uh, really good sports about it. There was a gentleman in social sciences there was another gentleman in special ed. Uh, these guys were like, there was a, one in science, a couple, oh, a couple of really good ones in um, uh, 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 tech. There were a lot of really good hockey players back then, and it was a joy to, to play with them, and it was an even bigger joy to stop them, which I did on a regular basis. One gentleman... Um, I, I just had his number and he would come in on me and he would attempt to, to, you know, score and like 20 times out of 21 times I would, I, I would just stop him. One time he scored and he comes by me and he whacks me right across the helmet. He goes, ha, I scored on you. So there, and I go, okay, next time he comes in, I stop him cold, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and, and it was enjoyable. We had teachers that were accomplished uh, actors uh, and, and not just uh, someone like the late, great uh, Mr. Slater, but there were a couple of teachers that were really accomplished actors. Um, we had one teacher, obviously in science, who is hooked up with the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. He's an astronomer. And I like that because I'm a amateur astronomer. Like I know where the sky is up. Um, but uh, we, we keep, we're in contact with each other. And he, he occasionally keeps me up to date with the movement of the planets. And if you're thinking the Gustav Holst suite, no, not that movement. Um, what else do we have? Uh, mathematicians. We had some incredible mathematicians. I mean, it might not be uh, the, 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 the household word. Like, you know, what did you do? Oh, I'm an executive with this company. And what did you do? Oh, I'm a mathematician. <laughs> really? But that's, the, but that's wrong because some of these guys were brilliant. Brilliant. Um, and I'm looking through... Uh, we had n not just one, but two 
accomplished dancers. One of them, um, uh, and, and just an incredible Tamil dancer. Some of you know who she is. Just an incredible dancer. Um, and uh, she would uh, occasionally joke with, with me that I always said I couldn't dance. And I can't. And I won't. Same thing with singing. I can't. And I won't. But uh, we, some of the people that were gifted, the people, the gentleman in foods, for example, you know who it is, a uh, gentleman about my height, it came from the Canadian military. Um, and he, actually, there were two gentlemen in foods. One of them, unfortunately, has passed away. Um, both were accomplished at their skill. And the gentleman who, unfortunately, passed away, um, was from the Middle East, and he studied in France under some of the finest um, bakery subject teachers you could ever imagine. You wouldn't have noticed it if you'd talked to him what his pedigree was. Um, looking through some more, um, in the business department, we were gifted with a whole bunch of amazing, amazing teachers Business and math are two difficult subjects to convey. And especially when you're trying to deal with grade 9 or grade 10 students, it's really hard. It's really difficult, especially science, when you're dealing with all these formulas and chemicals and stuff like that. But the science department, the math department, the business department, they were loaded with teachers with backgrounds that... Um, you just wouldn't find it at any other school. And some of you, I think, looking back, and if I were to mention some names, you go, yeah, well, he was on the front. He was boring. Not when you really get to know these people, and it's maybe for some of you, it's obviously too late. Not only too late, but it's too late in the sense that some of these people are no longer with us. Um, but, uh, you know, if I... If I'd been able to do this back then, the first thing I would have told you is give your teachers a little bit more respect. There was one teacher who was in our school for only for a couple of years. You may have known who it was. He, um, he had trouble with mobility. He had trouble walking. And he was used to teaching upper end grade 12 advanced 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 level math classes and when he came to the school unfortunately uh, he didn't get that kind of class and so he was disappointed and he moved on to a different school but this is a guy who had an absolutely brilliant mathematical mind and that's rare that's rare to to you know when he's boring he was boring or she was boring or they got up there and all they did was talk to grasp these concepts and to get them th out through your face to those ears out there, to your ears, is not easy. And not everybody is gifted with the, the ability to talk in cohesive sentences. And there was one math teacher, God bless him. Um, he came from Hong Kong. Some of you know who it is. He was here uh, maybe 85 years from Hong Kong. And... To this day, uh, uh, well, the last time I saw him, we, he retired many years ago like I did. But he would talk to me, and he was a wonderful, wonderful guy, but it would take me several minutes to understand what he said. He had just a thick accent that he never was able to get rid of. And you know what? That's, uh, it's tough. Um, uh, another group of staff that I wanted to point out, the secretarial staff, you guys don't know what these these women and the men and women did to keep the school running, like the custodial staff too. These men and women worked really hard in the background without much fanfare and not a lot of credit. And they kept the school running. Um, they kept the teachers supplied with the marks and the whole daily attendance thing. To do the attendance and back then meant you did it by hand and uh, you know you don't really give a lot of credit to 
to some of these people in the office and I wish you guys could go back 20 years or 10 years or 30 years go back into the office and give each one of these wonderful people in the office you know a box of chocolates or something like that because they deserve they worked hard and I know that I was not an easy teacher to deal with um, mostly because I was stupid and also because I was stupid uh, and I admit it um, and when it came to things like budget or this or that um, I was never good at math and I was never good at following orders um, and the, 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 the secretaries would be ready to gang up on me with like forks and knives um, because I sometimes made their lives difficult I'll, I'll leave it at difficult and I, I appreciate everything they did and if maybe there's a couple of teachers or maybe you know a couple of sorry secretaries and custodial people who, who are watching I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because you made my life as a teacher so much easier you have no idea um, librarians <laughs> running the library it's not like the books run out on you oh my god there's a book running um, but we were gifted with one very special lady who was there when I left um, who really contributed a lot to the library you don't librarians don't get the pat on the back that they should and this one who was there in around 2009 2000 to the well after 2014 um, she did an awful lot she did a lot for the school she did a lot in the library uh, we were <laughs> we were gifted with a couple of very strange librarians in the early days um, and I won't get into that I might I might get into that another year if I so intend to get sued but uh, yeah they were uh, they were very interesting people very um, uh, 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 um, artists people who work in custody um, cos cosmetology people who work in the tech woodworking auto body um, that kind of artist these are people very special people and you have to understand that that if you're a musician you're an artist yes if you're a painter you're an artist yes if you're a stylist a hairstylist you're an artist you take something and you make something else out of it if you're woodworking if you're machine shop if you're auto body if you're any one of these trades these are all artists they have to be because you're taking item a and you're making something out of it into item b maybe you're fixing it maybe you're transforming it into something completely completely different um and uh, no different from um a musician or a, a painter or a dancer or an actor um taking something out of nothing making something out of nothing um those of you who took tech you have to understand that knowledge of what you're working with is more critical sometimes than being able to convey that knowledge um, and we had people working in, in woodworking for example and metal shop and auto body uh, cosmetology they were stars they really were um, any artist can be flaky and freaky and and God knows we had a lot of them and so am I I mean they don't come any more flaky and freaky than I do but um, you have to understand that that these teachers again because of what they taught and there was always an emphasis by a lot of principals on math science uh, tech uh, accounting not so much tech accounting um, uh, social sciences and then the arts and the trades get left at the bottom totally unfair because it takes more skill to take a pile of wood and make something out of it than it does to stand at the blackboard and talk about the Pythagoras theorem I think in my own opinion you know so uh, a big you guys should should in, in your minds 
think about if you took a trade or cosmetology or something like that you know should have patted these people on the back because they really deserved it they really did and and the people that I'm talking about if you're watching you know who you are and I thank you um, and then uh, and then we had bizarre teachers <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to talk about them. Um, you know who they are. I know who they are. They both know who they are. Uh, we had some bizarre teachers. Uh, I might do it later, as I say, if I intend to be taken to court and sued. But uh, I won't. But that's the way it is in any, in any industry. Okay, you have teachers that teach because they enjoy communicating knowledge. And then you have teachers teaching for other reasons. Um, and then you have teachers teaching because they couldn't, they weren't good at what they wanted to be and oh, I'll, I'll, I'll teach. And I, I couldn't, I didn't get along with these people. I didn't get along with these people. There was one teacher who used to come up to me all the time and say, how come people are always in your room? How come this one student who keeps on telling me to off and and go to hell and da 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 how come he's good with you and in the back of my mind I'm going don't say it don't say it don't say it don't say it and I finally told him one day I said it's how okay he said, why they don't respect me I said, he says well that's a slippery slope if they don't respect you it's because you're doing something that not respecting them and this goes with any job, any job. One thing that I was always taught, no matter what this person's job is, he could be an executive for the company, he could be a custodial person, he could be someone cleaning bathrooms in, in, in a building, working nights. Um, you give everybody the same respect and you make sure that you are understanding of where they're coming from. We had a family come from Croatia. Croatia? Maybe. Um, and there was a brother or sister that came to the school. And they spoke very, very little English. And I once said to them, I had both students. They were wonderful kids. Very, very bright. And I said to them, I said, what does your, what does your father do? Well, he's a, he's a woodworker. He's an artist. Okay. And what does your mother do? Well, she cleans offices at night. Okay. And then when I met them in parents' night, you know, they looked like regular, everyday parents. And clearly the kids were there to translate for them. What I found out later was that he was a top magistrate, top lawyer... Um, and she sat on the Supreme Court of the old country of Yugoslavia. Okay, in other words, these were two of the top lawyers in the country. Two of the most learned people in the country. And when they came to Canada, they came to Canada f because... They had to get out of Yugoslavia when it collapsed and created all these other things. And he became a woodworker and she was cleaning offices. And their kids ended up being wonderful, wonderful kids. I think they're both doctors now. I'm not sure. But people come to Canada um, not necessarily being able to to grab the jobs that they had back home. And this always concerned me. And even some of the teachers that I'm talking about, the, they got into teaching because maybe they couldn't get that kind of same job back that they had back home. And ut utmost respect for all of these people. You never know and you never go by appearances and you never go by um, what they're... Uh, um, job title is never ever anyway 
it's already gone on far longer than I thought it would. Um, if you haven't made it this far, then you're obviously not going to hear what I have to say. But um, if you do have, if you have gotten this far, um, encourage people that you know are watching me and watching these videos. Um, take it in five minute chunks because there's so much content there's so much that I want to talk about and there's so much that you might understand and I want to give credit where credit is due and that's not going to happen unless people make it to the back half of the video simply because I'm not going to make a five minute video although I've been told to make a five minute video. Can you see me making a five minute video? No, me either. Anyway, it's been good to see you. You all look wonderful except for you. You don't look good. Um, take care and we'll see you hopefully soon with maybe a shorter video. We'll see. Bye.